In this example, we will use the TID4 to determine a probability and percentile of a sample mean distribution. In a recent study, the mean age of tablet users is 34. Suppose the standard deviation is 15 years. Samples of size n equals 100 are taken. Number one, what are the mean and standard deviation for the sample mean ages of tablet users? Looking at our notes below, mu sub x, the mean of the original population, is equal to the average or mean of both x and x bar, which means the mean of the population is the same as the mean for the sample mean ages. So we'll say mu sub x bar is equal to 34. And now the standard deviation for the sample means, which is indicated by sigma sub x bar, is equal to sigma sub x divided by the square root of n, which is the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So sigma sub x bar in this case is equal to 15, the standard deviation of the population, divided by the square root of 100 because the sample size is 100. Simplifying, we have 15 divided by the square root of 100 is 10. 15 divided by 10 is equal to 1.5. And for both the mean and standard deviation, the units are years. Number two, what does the distribution look like? We know from the central limit theorem, the distribution of the sample means tends to a normal distribution. So we'll say the normal distribution tends to a normal distribution. And again, we know this from the central limit theorem. Number three, what is the probability that the sample mean age is more than 30 years? We can indicate this as the probability that x bar is greater than 30. And now to determine this probability on the TID4, we use the normal CDF function, and then we enter the lower value of the area, the upper value of the area, the mean, and then the standard deviation of the sample distribution, which is the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. Going to the calculator, we press the second VARS for the distribution menu, option two for normal CDF. Because we have X bar is greater than 30, the lower bound is 30. Enter. We need to exaggerate the upper bound. Let's use 99999. Enter. The mean is 34. Enter. Sigma for the sample distribution is 15 divided by square root 100, which is 1.5. Enter, enter, and enter again. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.9962. which is equal to 99.62%. Number four, we're asked to find the 95th percentile for the sample mean age, which is the mean age that is greater than or equal to 95% of the other mean ages. We can indicate this as the probability that x is less than k, where k is the 95th percentile, is equal to 0 0.95. To model this on the curve shown here, if let's say k is here, the area under the curve to the left of k, this area here, is equal to 0 0.95. And now to use the TID4 to find k, the 95th percentile, we use the inverse norm function, enter the area to the left of k, comma the mean, comma the sample mean standard deviation, which is the population standard deviation, divided by the square root of the sample size, which we've already found. So going to the calculator, we press second VARS for the distribution menu, option three for inverse norm. Area to the left we know is 0 0.95 for the 95th percentile. Enter, the mean is 34, and the sample mean standard deviation we know is 1.5. Enter, enter, enter. We're asked to run to one decimal place, which is approximately 36.5. So now we know the 95th percentile is approximately 36.5 years.
I hope you found this helpful.